When Black Lives Matter protests reignited across the country after the death of George Floyd, the grocery chain Whole Foods put front and center on its website, we support the black community and meaningful change in the world. And Amazon, the store's parent company, put up a Black Lives Matter banner on its site. Yet when workers at a Whole Foods in Cambridge wore face masks with the same slogan, they were told to either take them off or go home. Threatened with termination and ultimately, one worker who walked out over the mask issue was fired. The company has previously said that, quote, all team members must comply with our longstanding company dress code, which prohibits any visible slogans, messages, logos, or advertising that are not company-related. And a Whole Foods spokesperson told us today, in part, no team members have been terminated for wearing Black Lives Matter face masks or apparel, and the Cambridge worker who was fired was for violating the company's time and attendance policy, they said. But... Several of the employees involved have filed a class action lawsuit accusing the company of violating their civil rights. I'm joined now by one of the lead, play, lead plaintiffs, plaintiffs in the case, Whole Foods cashier, Severno Frith, along with his lawyer, labor attorney, Shannon Lisrud. And Shannon and Severno, thank you so much for being here. Severno, why does it matter to you to wear the mask at work? I understand out in the world as a whole, I get that. Why does it matter that you wear it while on the job to you? Um, to me, it matters because um, I think black lives matter. Just the sentiment that um, all black lives are valuable um, isn't something that should be treated as a political statement or something that is up for debate. And I think that um, we should be able to support human rights in the workplace, um, supporting uh, my fellow black employees, um, a lot of people who work at Whole Foods are people of color, and I think the yeah. um, idea that um, them saying that their lives matter um, at work is deemed unacceptable uh, isn't okay. So, Shannon, your uh, contention, from what I understand, is that the company, despite what it says, does allow other logos and statements in dress that are not company uh, related so that they're what selectively and arbitrarily, I believe you, uh, singling out Black Lives Matter. Is that your primary argument here? Uh, yes, yes. We've been hearing from Whole Foods workers all around the country. Um, we're up to about nine or ten different states now, and we've heard lots of confirmation that employees have worn all types of messaging and logos in the workplace, including political statements. Um, they wear pride flags and pins. They wear sports team logos, they wear all kinds of things, but it was only when the employees started bringing out these Black Lives Matter masks and putting those on that all of a sudden Whole Foods remembered it had a dress code policy. So we're saying that that is discriminatory, um, that black employees should be able to speak out against racism and their other employees should be able to stand with them um, and not be retaliated against for speaking out um, on behalf of their black coworkers. Shannon, if there was no evidence that there were other uh, slogans or political statements or whatever, if there was no such evidence, would you still be making the contention that Severno and his colleagues had a right to wear Black Lives Matter somewhere on them, including on a mask at Whole Foods? Well, I mean, that would be a different case. We have here a company that is singling out a message about black lives, um, one that the company claims that it supports, um, but yet isn't allowing its own employees to express in the workplace. So um, as Severno just said, it's not, this is not a political statement. It's a statement of human rights and dignity. The federal government made a decision just last week that it's not a political statement, and federal employees can wear this message yeah. in the workplace. So I want to, uh, Severna, I want to seize on something that Shannon just said. Again, Whole Foods on its website, racism has no place here. Jeff Bezos has thrown $10 million at racial justice campaigns. And he has even said, because he supports and has put up the Black Lives Matter uh, a banner on their site, that if he loses customers over it, he's willing to do that. How does it make you feel that there's one rule for the people who run the company and another rule for the people who work for the company? Um, to me, it feels like um, virtue signaling. It feels like they want hmm. to be able to use Black Lives Matter as a marketing uh, campaign and like draw customers to them 
uh, by saying like, hey, look, we support um, this great movement. Um, but when it comes to frontline workers, such as myself, um, showing that the company supports it, um, like in the stores, that uh, they're afraid that customers who don't agree with it will stop shopping there and that they'll lose their money. Uh, Shannon, is it relevant uh, to your litigation that what you and Severno just mentioned, that the company itself says at least that it's supportive of the exact same language and spirit that Severno and his colleagues are wearing? Or is that just sort of icing on the cake kind of thing? Yeah, I think that just shows the hypocrisy. Um, like we're seeing with so many companies now that are that are racing over each other to proclaim how hard they're going to fight racism. Um, and they say one thing that they think helps their base, um, but, but then they take actions that are different. Um, it's, it's quite ironic. It's quite ironic. Whole Foods and Amazon claim to support black lives and oppose racism, but then when their own employees try to express that, they get muzzled. Well, can we stay with law for just one more minute? Forget hypocrisy, even though it does matter to me. As a matter of law, if there was an employee at a Whole Foods who said, I don't want to wear a Black Lives Matter mask, I want to wear an All Lives Matter mask, could they make the exact same argument you're making on behalf of your clients now that if you allow other, quote, violations of only Whole Foods uh, dress, that All Lives Matter would be permissible too? No, we're making an argument that, that Whole Foods actions uh, constitutes race discrimination um, because they singled out a message that supports protected workers, um, black employees, um, and their co-workers who are supporting them, associating with them, and standing by them. So that is the legal issue. Severino, do you have co-workers who have told you that they would like to wear such a mask but don't solely because they're fearful of retaliation, discipline, firing, something like that? Have you encountered such people? Yeah, a lot of the times when um, uh, several of us workers like decide to wear the masks and walk out and protest, um, there are about just as many employees who say that, hey, like, I'm really sorry, I really support you guys and like, I would love to walk out, but you know, I need the money and um, I don't wanna get disciplinary points you know, I, I can't lose this job, things like that. You know, Shannon, uh, I'll ask you the unanswerable question, or at least maybe unanswerable by you, but I'm sure people are curious. Why are they doing this? I mean, if they, even if they don't mean it, they say they support this movement, this, this racial reckoning. Why take it out on Severno and people like him who support the exact same thing that they say they care about? What's the agenda? Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. That is a really excellent question. I, I mean, Jeff Bezos has said that he doesn't mind losing those customers who don't agree with his message, but apparently that's something that, that he says for one audience, but um, maybe they are concerned about those few customers. I mean, it's ironic because customers are leading the charge with protests out in their parking yeah. lots. I've been at some protests. They're, they've got signs to boycott Whole Foods. Um, the customer base uh, is not too happy with this. And, and of course, Starbucks, which was faced with the same question, turned around and did the exact opposite. They said, okay. And they handed out t-shirts that Black Lives Matter to their staff across the country. Well, whoever Howard Schultz's successor is might want to call Jeff Bezos on the phone and we could short circuit this whole thing. Severino, good luck to you and your co-workers. Shannon, thanks so much for your time as always. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.